Whether you're a fan of realism and ray tracing or yearn for the days when 8-bit was king, every gamer can appreciate a game with beautiful visuals, especially when those visuals seem to jump straight out of a Pixar movie or a sketchbook. In this video, we're taking a look at 10 co-op games with unforgettable, unique art styles. Knights and Bikes is an action-adventure game set on a fictional British island in the 1980s where you and a friend play as two kids exploring and solving puzzles. The story revolves around Demelza and Nessa, who go on an imaginative quest filled with childhood wonder, adventure and danger. From battling imaginary enemies to biking through town, Knights and Bikes is a love letter to the wild imagination of childhood. The art style features hand-painted visuals that have a rough, sketchbook-like quality. This unique style helps bring out the raw, energetic feel of the adventure, making you feel like you're exploring a children's book come to life. Cult of the Lamb is an unusual mix of cute and creepy. In this game, you play as a lamb saved from sacrifice by a dark deity, who then demands you start a cult to prove your loyalty in return. You'll gather followers, build your cult's base, and explore dark dungeons to face off against gods and rival cult leaders. It's a fun mix of resource management and roguelike gameplay, keeping things interesting by switching between cute cult building and intense combat moments. The art style in Cult of the Lamb is a standout. It combines cartoonishly cute animals with dark, occult themes, creating a contrast that's both airy and charming. The animations are fluid and expressive, giving every character a ton of personality, while the environments are rich with details that shift between adorable and sinister. It's a look that really keeps you on your toes, balancing sweetness with shadows in a way that you don't see every day. Then there's Cuphead, a name that's almost synonymous with beautiful but punishing gameplay. This run-and-gun game is famous for its brutal boss fights and relentless platforming challenges. You play as Cuphead and Mugman, who must fight their way through surreal enemies to repay a debt to the devil. What makes Cuphead so memorable is its animation, which is heavily inspired by classic 1930s cartoons. The visuals are hand-drawn and animated in a rubber hose style that's both nostalgic and refreshingly unique. Every frame feels like it was taken from an old animated short, complete with film grain, muted colors, and dramatic, larger-than-life expressions. It's a visual masterpiece that perfectly complements the game's challenging gameplay. Degrees of Separation is a puzzle platformer that explores the relationship between two characters, Ember and Rhyme, each embodying opposite forces of heat and cold. You'll use their unique abilities to solve puzzles as they journey together, each influencing the environment around them. It's a metaphor for relationships, with gameplay that explores the dynamics of cooperation and balance. Degrees of Separation is visually enchanting, with vibrant, contrasting environments for each character. Ember's world is warm, full of fiery reds and oranges, while Rhyme's side is cool with icy blues. The worlds are split-screened but beautifully intertwined, creating an effect that highlights both the characters' differences and their synergy. It's a stunning, layered look that mirrors the game's themes. Spiritfarer is a cozy management sim about death. You play as Stella, a ferry master for the spirits, who must help her passengers complete their final tasks and reach peace. In co-op mode, a second player can control her pet cat, Daffodil. Stella and Daffodil can split up certain duties on the ship, like cooking or managing crops. It's a deeply emotional game that explores themes of love, loss and letting go, and it's paced in a way that encourages you to relax, reflect and get attached to each spirit that you encounter. The visuals in Spirit Spiritfarer are soft, hand-drawn animations that are both warm and detailed. The game has a watercolour aesthetic with vibrant pastels and expressive character design that give each spirit and environment a unique charm. It's a beautiful, relaxing game to look at and the art style fits perfectly with its theme of finding beauty in saying goodbye. Children of Morta is a story-driven action RPG about a family of heroes fighting to protect their land from corruption. The game is rich with lore, focusing on each family member's strengths and struggles as you battle through dungeons and uncover the family's history. Each character feels unique, and the blend of combat and storytelling makes for an engaging experience. Children of Morta is done in gorgeous pixel art that's both detailed and atmospheric. The colors are vivid, with dark and mystical environments that feel alive with intricate textures. 
Each dungeon is crafted with a mix of beauty and decay, making every journey visually stunning and keeping the world feeling immersive and alive. Entropy Effect is a roguelike game with a sci-fi twist. It's fast-paced, featuring intense combat mechanics, futuristic weapons and a story about breaking free from a looped reality. Each run is filled with intense action and the game keeps you hooked with its unpredictable events and upgrades that allow you to adapt and improve with each playthrough. The art style in Entropy Effect leans into cyberpunk aesthetics with its dark, neon-lit environments and futuristic cityscapes. The colors are bold with deep shadows and vibrant lighting effects that make every encounter look dynamic. The character designs and environments fit perfectly into the sci-fi genre, creating a visually immersive, adrenaline-fueled experience. The We Were Here games are known for their cooperative puzzle-solving gameplay, where two players communicate through walkie-talkies to solve puzzles and escape from creepy, labyrinthine locations. Each installment introduces new challenges, but the core themes of teamwork and communication remain key to the experience. Combining eerie castles, snowy landscapes and mysterious ruins, the art style is detailed but leans towards a more realistic, shadowy aesthetic, immersing you in a slightly unsettling world. The environments are designed to make you feel isolated yet interconnected with your partner, adding tension and mystery to every puzzle. In Journey, you play alone or with your friends as roped figures wandering through vast deserts and mysterious landscapes with minimal instructions or guidance. It's a deeply atmospheric experience focused on feelings of solitude and awe, as well as unexpected companionship if you happen to meet another player online. The art style in Journey is breathtaking, with minimalist yet striking landscapes inspired by surrealism and soft, sandy hues. The world feels ethereal and otherworldly, with a color palette that shifts beautifully as you progress. The visuals are designed to evoke emotion, giving players a sense of serenity and mystery as they journey through ancient ruins and endless dunes. Moving on, we have It Takes Two. This co-op action-adventure game takes you on an emotional journey of a couple who, transformed into dolls, must navigate a magical world to fix their strange relationship. You and a friend must work through several breathtakingly designed levels to overcome puzzles and platforming challenges together. This game really nails the theme of collaboration, requiring both players to work together in order to progress. It Takes Two has whimsical and imaginative visuals that feel like a mashup of Pixar and stop-motion animation. The visuals are just as much a part of the storytelling as the dialogue, keeping you immersed in its heartwarming yet intense journey. That was 10 co-op games with breathtaking art styles. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya!